This video is for my cactus and succulent lovers. We're at California Cactus Center and I'm telling you, they have such cool plants. Look at all these Lophocereus shodiis. Monstrosas. Um, so we're gonna be touring this place and some of these plants don't really have prices so I'll try my best to get the names and the prices of them but I'm not making any promises so check out these euphorbia stellatas they are so funky looking I really like them I don't know how much they cost now but you guys probably know I probably have it under the video I really want one of these I really want so many of the plants here but I cannot trust myself to take care of expensive cacti. Whoa, look at this Discoria elephant types. That is big. Look at that. Massive. And it looks like they're getting the seeds. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is 18 years old. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the little price sheet that I'm going to be finding out what everything costs. There's some desert roses. I'm kind of wanting to get a desert rose because, I don't know, I'm just trying to expand my cactus slash succulent collection. I don't know how great of an idea that is. Um, but they're seeming really good to me right now because I am struggling to keep my plants watered during the summertime and I know that my cacti and succulents are still doing just fine. This is kind of like what my <laughs> my Lophocereus looks like. If this isn't even one, Pittosporum T Cream de Mint. I'm not sure. Some of these look really cool. They're kind of like viney plants. Check this out. Variegated. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's a succulent. <laughs> yep, I know a lot. All right, check these out. I have never seen these at any store. Plant store, I don't care what. I've never seen any of these. I think these are Stefania's. I'm not sure what kind they are. I am like they're probably a Nova or what is the one that I have? Wow, I can't remember plant names anymore. My brain is melting, rotting away. But look at these. I'm not sure how much they cost because they don't have any price tag on them. But like I said, this is the only place I've ever seen them. I had to get mine online because I didn't know they had them here. But there we have it. Lots of really cool stuff. Look at this flower. That's a desert rose flower. And I'm not really a flower type of girl, which is, never mind, that's a lie. I just like all kinds of different plants. Look at this one. I have no idea what it is, but I really like the shape of the leaves. They kind of look like fins. It's like a little palm. No clue what it is though. Okay, let's head on over to the labeled plants so we actually can tell what's going on. Uh, there's a bunch of snake plants over here. They're all potted so nicely with a nice top dressing. It's very inspiring <laughs> to make me want to make my plants look really nice with top dressing but there's some more plants over here these are some adeniums i don't know if i will get any i don't really want a red one maybe a white one i'm not sure but again the price list and i'll have the prices written out for you so it's gonna be a lot easier um you know how some plants are kind of easier to take care of when they're small i don't know if that's how these are but I don't know. I do, I'd rather pay less for a small plant and grow it. There's some of these. 
Oh, I didn't know these were euphorbias. Euphorbia. More desert roses. This one looks like she's gonna bloom. Oh yeah, just to show you guys how gorgeous this place is. Sam. It's really inspiring to make me want to have so many cacti and succulents. But here we go. Here are some, I think these are moonshine snake plants for $11.59. There's more desert roses. Oh, here's how the white flower looks. I don't think I'm that big of a fan of the white flower. And some cacti. Red flowers. These, well, I don't know if they're about to bloom or they have already had their flowers bloom. Look at the variegation, the marbling on these. Oh wow. And look how cute these are. It makes me really want to buy them. I love how fat and tiny they are. Let's see. Totem. <gasps> this plant is extinct in nature. What? I didn't know that. I want to know the price now. Damn, these little babies are $69.50. They're so cute. I love them. They're so chonky. Okay, and we got some more little, what are these? Loblivias. I don't know what's going on. Very cool. And these are astrophytums. I think that's one of the plants that I'm, oh, look at this. Look at the flower on there. Oh, I really, okay, this one looks like you can see it better. <laughs> that is the craziest looking flower. What is this plant called? It looks, ow, oh my God, I'm being attacked by the, by his friends. Huernia. Huer lifesaver that is such a funny flower <laughs> oh, i'm gonna face it this way so others can see the flower too all right okay so like i was saying i've been kind of learning the names of cacti a little bit um and these are astrophytum that's all i know i don't know anything else or <laughs> astrophytum ornatums and I know the name of them because I really like the shape of them. And I like how bulbous they are and their little speckles everywhere. And these ones, grown all crazy, notocacti, notocactus. So many different varieties. I'm so sorry if a lot of things aren't getting labeled. There's just so much going on here. Look at this little orange flower. I love when cactus bloom because I never even expected them to bloom. And it's like a little fun surprise. Look, oh my gosh, you're flowering? You have flowers? Wow, it's crazy. It looks kind of fake. It's like Lowe's and Home Depot really got it right just, <laughs> just gluing those flowers on any random cactus because kind of how they look, but obviously much more beautiful, much more realistic. One dot equals a hundred spines. I did not know that and it's a, okay. I'm so sorry, my camera died. So we're back on my phone. But I think the last thing we were talking about was how one of these dots is a hundred spines and I was about to touch them. No, I wasn't gonna touch them, but I can definitely see myself making that mistake and I literally had no idea before so many cool plants look this is a plumosa I have one of these because they're little their little uh, things look like feathers and they're not really that spiky but I have been uh, spined by one before so <laughs> They will still spike you. There's 
so cute. Oh my gosh, look, there's more little totem poles. So cute. And look at this. I'm not sure what this is called, but I feel like it looks really crazy. Um, I like how the spines are like continuous. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, they're called Amok, um, um, Amax. There's the label. Very cool. Here we are, continuing on. I noticed these, these plants right here. I love the colors of it. And I saw these and I think these are called moonstones. And in one of my videos, I touched it and in the comments, someone was like, don't touch them. So I'm not gonna touch them. <laughs> But it's so hard to resist. I think it's because they have like a powder on them or something. But if I had a moonstone, you could bet I would be touching it. I'd be petting him. These little babies. I think these are all like seedling cacti. Oh, and I didn't mention, but below us, there's a bunch of holiday cactus. So there's some Thanksgiving, Easter, I think there's even Christmas, which is the one that's kind of difficult to find. These are cool. Cyphostemma. Look at this. I like this one. Astrophytum. But I kind of like it more when they have little speckles on it, so I don't know. But these are also really cool because look at those pink spikies. Pink spikies. Barrow cactus. And check out these. I would call them, they look like cotton candy or they look like from Shrek when they made spiderweb cotton candy. This is literally what it looks like. It looks like someone used a cactus to clean up their cobwebs. So that's a little bit disturbing, but it's really cool how the plant just naturally does it by itself. And then this one looks like an old man cactus. He looks like he's grown his own little hair. And I like these. I think these are really cool. Madukana. They have orange flowers. Pretty. Okay, going a little bit. I hope I'm not going too fast, but there is a lot to cover. Oh, these guys look like they're chunka. <laughs> and these are really cool. Called the Wintera. They look like little snakes. And there's copia poas over here. Really pretty flowers. Oh, I think these are even bigger feral cactus. Okay, I don't like how big their spikies are, but I do like that they're pink. This one's about to bloom. I think I have this cactus, so I really want to see the... Well, I don't think this is going to be the exact moon. Oh, here are the rest of the friends of the Astrophytum. Oh, these are the cool ones where they're color, they're speckly. Okay, and you guys, I don't want to... Uh... This is the coolest thing ever. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all of these lip ups. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's literally lip ups heaven. And I don't know if it's intentional, but they're kind of color sorted. And this, these do cost like, I checked, they cost like 30, 40 dollars. 
and I think there's 15 of them. So I don't know how much it is for each, but I recently murdered, well, I don't know if they're dead yet, but I think they are. Um, so I don't trust myself to buy this many lips, but oh my gosh, I really want to. If you guys want lip ups, like, here it is. And I feel like they're probably very well taken care of, so you don't need to repot it or anything. Oh my goodness. I would get, like, this one, or any of these actually. And then there's over here some more lip ups too. And these are uh, $4.95. So maybe I will get some of these, like maybe these over here. Gosh, these lip ups are so cute. I love them so much. And there's also an Obisa here. Boop. Very baby. And look at these. This is very pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's so gorgeous. I think that this is an Obisa. I might be insane for saying that, but it really looks like an extremely stretched out obisa. I love it. I love it in this pot and everything. And apparently in cactus world, I don't know, but like people who are really into cacti, cacti collectors and stuff, they stage their plants so that, kind of like bonsai I guess. Do people with houseplants stage their plants? I don't really know, but like this is probably staged, I guess. It's like when they choose, I don't know if I'm, if you know more about this, please clarify if I'm wrong, but they will like put rocks in it and just make it look so beautiful, like with the perfect pot. Here are some spiral cactuses. I forgot that I really want one, but, I know why I don't have one because when I look at the price I'm like oh yeah that's why I don't have one but they're so cool and what's also really cool are these because they kind of look like spiral cactuses what are they called that's what they're called they're insane so yeah I think these are just like the cacti that already have some nice pots and some nice top dressing Here's some more beautiful cacti. I've noticed that I am drawn to the ones that have kind of a bluish tint to them. So like these Euphorbia polygonas snowflakes. Those are very beautiful. And over here is their succulent selection, which I'm gonna be honest is not. <gasps> Whoa, what are these? Hoya Carii Golden Hearts. These are probably the healthiest Hoya carry eyes I've ever seen. They do look like they're a little sun stressed, but maybe it's just because they're golden, but they look extremely healthy. Wow, that's crazy. Mm, they're $28. They're variegated Hoya carry eyes. These are literally the healthiest ones I've seen. So, yeah, like I said, succulents, which I guess I didn't come here for succulents. Well, the succulents that look like cacti. I found this San Pedro pa Patris, San Pedro cactus, and it's a Pachinoy, tri Trichocerius Pachinoy. So I think that's cool. I don't know how to tell if cacti are PC or not, but maybe, maybe one day I'll be able to. I don't know what these plants are, but they're very beautiful looking. This, I think is so pretty. I think we've seen one. It's an N. Over here, they have this Carnosa uh, Hindu rope for sale. And I just wanted to show you the flowers on it so beautiful this one has three 
flowers. It probably has more. I see an, another, um, uh, what's it called? Peduncle there, I think. Mine has two flowers on it too. Well, this one has three, but mine has two. I'm very proud of it. We got more craziness going on over here. These are split rocks and they get kind of, not confused, but like lumped together with um, lift ups a lot, but I don't like these. I kind of really dislike them and I love lift ups. So, yep, there they are. If you like them, that's good because they're kind of easier to find than lift ups. Well, at least where I live, that might not be true, but you know. Look how cute these are. They're like little palms. I love this. Oh, here are the dis dysphoria elephant types. And like I said, I'll write down how much they are, but they have pretty big bases. These are bigger bases than the one that mine has. These also look very healthy. Look at that. They are very cool looking and it kind of makes me want, oh my gosh, kind of makes me want another one, but I just noticed there's more lip pops here. I am definitely gonna buy some lip pops. Are you kidding me? They are so beautiful. And there is also this um, Haworthia here. And I don't know what this is, but this looks cool. This is an Adenia Glauca. Oh, I think it's just another Adenium, but it has different looking uh, leaves. Maybe it's not the same. Oh, I think Adenia and Adeniums are different. Hmm. And there's even more lip ops here and they're already kind of situated in a little beautiful cluster. Oh my gosh, I'm, okay. I'm definitely getting lip ops, but I don't know which ones. I thought it's gonna be a long, long decision to make. Like it's gonna take me forever, I know it. So they are Stefania Erectas. These look pretty big and I love the pots that they're in. Wow. Oh, I didn't know they're from Thailand. L. L. This is like $90. Specifically that one. The one with the pot is $120. But I do love that pot and that setup. So that is all for this tour. I hope you guys liked it. I highly encourage you to visit, even if it's just to look, because they have such beautiful plants. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Here's the haul, you guys. It was $30 in total. Woot woot.